Hey guys, I'm Critico and this is Beautiful Fallout 4. Welcome, welcome. Let's talk to the people around here and see what we you can do. Like you're here to trade. Yeah, I'm not though. I'm not. The Brotherhood needs your help. Remember these people did abandon the Minutemen, right? Because I didn't spoil them with toys and whatever. To protect the Commonwealth. Donate a portion of your crops to the Brotherhood and it will not be forgotten. Donate? Haven't heard that one before. But raiders usually aren't that polite. Don't think I don't see what's going on here. You'll get your donation come harvest. Yeah, that's your own problem, darling, you know. I protected all of you. I kept all of you safe, though. But you wanted more. You was unhappy. Well, then this is what happens, right? You know, absolutely. Oh, my God. Vampires will rule the land. Look at that blood moon there. Now, let's see. What shall we do next, my boys? Apparently, oh, 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 oh. Apparently, we have a whole lot on our on our table here. And where do we have to go? Speak with Night Captain Larson. Ah, I see what's going on. Well, I think we are going here to the Parson State Insane Asylum first, maybe. But then again, we didn't talk to Cabot, right? So that's kind of dumb, if you ask me. And then collect technical documents for... Yes, we have that one too. Set up Myla. Oh my god, there's so much going on, right? And over here, check the detective cases. My lord, my lord, my lord. Investigate General Atomics Factory. Hunter. Hmm. I think we are going to do... Not this one yet. No, because we have to go all the way south, I would say. Let's go. Let's go to Boston. Uh, that's this way then, yes. Oh, by the way, no, we have to do a whole lot of other things, right? Uh, travel to the CIT, yes, so we can advance the main mission. Uh, trouble brewing, no, 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 no. Listen to Nuka-Cola Family Radio, Fault, special delivery, talk to ja uh, Jack Cabot, Mr. Langelus, yes, we do have all of these, talk to Ellie. Ellie? Ellie. Which, okay, yeah, that's in the uh, uh, Detective Valentine Agency. Then over here, activate the vault door controls. That one is not working anymore. It's glitched out. Um, but we did finish the quest, though. Recover to Millimeter No, nothing here. Talk to McCready, maybe. Bring Hallucinogen Kinesa to Fred Allen. Um, yeah, talk to Bobby, bring a blood fly, see Dr. Crocker, bring Jet to Mama Murphy, recover the missile launcher. Not a lot of things, though, that we have on our plate right now, right? Come on. There we go. Had to press it four times, though, Pip-Boy. Over here somewhere, there was that, um, not Raider camp, but the camp full of super mutants, right? And I think we might actually investigate it. Is it getting darker right yeah it is getting night apparently i mean it's not easy to see because it could be some weird moon reflection though right but nah dude it's getting night time in the game so better be prepared i suppose ah there it is yes oh yeah look at all the glowies huh nice 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 come on it's a tough one though i think it's an elite come on they always love to walk in front of you, right? You know, the companions. Hmm. It's good that we have a silencer. On. Oh, my. Okay, bye-bye. It's good that we have a silencer on. Even from long range, though, they do not know where we are. But somehow, magically, they do know, in the end, where we actually are, right? They always walk to the correct, um, you know, signs instead of... Oh, maybe it's north. Maybe it's south. No. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Got a couple big boys right there. Nice, I suppose. There was something there, right? Yeah, it's glowing. Okay, we cannot kill it. Caution, right there. Bye bye. All right, big boy. Well, he could feel where that shot was coming from, right? You know, without too much of a hassle. Hmm, one frag mine. Interesting. Good that we don't trip them anymore. And I hope we don't trip them in power armor either, you know what I mean? Because, oh, breaking those legs though, right? Carrying, carrying capacity is going overboard then, right? You know? Okay, bye-bye. Very nice. We got a turret there. 
These poor ghosts, man. They really don't know what's going on. Yeah, he was very lucky there, by the way. Very lucky. All right. It's very easy, man. Very easy with this master. I love it, you know. The... We're wide open out here. Yeah, we are, we are, you know, just to be able to scan life forms or heat signatures, though, I would call it, right, you know? It's really, really cool. It's kind of weird, though, to be, you know, playing with power armor, but it is what it is, you know? It's uh, part of Levin. Raid a scum. Our new mission here, that yeah, you better be careful right now. Okay, big boys. Okay, that's an, uh, a special one. Hammer is down too right now. Very nice. Come on, elite boy. Elite boy. That's a rate of psycho, sadly. The Brotherhood is incoming too. Very nice. But that only means that we have to be very careful, right, you know? By what we are shooting and what not. Okay, I think these boys, they were shooting, uh, you know, uh, explosive rounds, though. Very nice. Resolute radium rifle. Time slows down. Very cool, though. Hey there, brother. Keep your safety off. Whoever or whatever community is messed might still be around. Yeah, we killed them all, though. Don't you worry about it. But I will have my triggers up, you know. Uh, my guard up. My triggers up. Hmm, I got plenty. Okay, steam pack three missile runs the super sledge. Hammer doesn't has much. He's known to be a hammer boy though for his sledgehammer. Okay, we got a radio popping up around here. The, we're playing bowling here. I mean the mutants, man. Sometimes we he got some extra long, style, right? Not me, not me, big boy. Kurigo is kind of immune to that stuff. All right, bye bye, and let's go over here. The wunderbar backyard bunker. I mean, there should be a muti in here, right? You know, technically. Okay, somebody had a this little bit of fun there, secure. maybe. Maybe, baby, right? Let's go grab all of these and then let's see. Wayne's desk, Bruce Wayne, huh? Ooh, graphical glitz. Do you see that? Wayne's logs. There we go. Uh, made it home. Uh, oh, very cool of him. October 26, 2077. The boys finally cried themselves to sleep. It's been three days since the bombs fell. And everything has gone to shit. Or director up at uh, MedTech got advance notice. And if I hadn't put that code into his terminal that forwarded his logs to me, I would have been trapped up there along with everyone else when the lockdown kicked in. I had to make... Wow, locked down inside of the building itself? Wow, that's cool, though. I had to make my way on food to Marlin to get the, to get the boys. I'm so proud of them for remembering the plan. Uh, Michael managed to get David away from the teachers, and he ran and hit like I told them, instead of going in that fault. Ooh. Well, in the... Okay. You know... Faults... We know it's better to stay outside, right? You know, the experiments there are just brutal. We made it uh, back here into our bunker just as the plan sta uh, started going over our head. Of uh, the planes over our head. We listened to the radio for a while, but then the station cut out. I can still hear gunfire out there. Bunny, I don't know if you're still out there, but I'm praying you are. Well, the problem is, though, right, you know, this typical human stuff, right? You know, something horrible happens and people start torching everything. It's so weird, man, humanity. Map updated November 9th, 2077. Uh, Bonnie, it's been two weeks and I wish you were here. I want so badly to head to the hospital to try to find you, but Boston is too dangerous and I can't leave the boys on their own. Little David keeps asking when Mama is coming home. And Michael has started to glare at me when I say that you are still at the hospital helping people. I've been listening to the intermission reports uh, on the radio after they have gone to bed. And I think 
he overheard one where they were talking about the fighting in the city it sounds like the fighting down there is really bad i hope you're safe on the neighbors january 28 2078 one year later huh it's been three months well okay three months but still you know <laughs> i left the bunker for the first time last night or well, plan to tap into the main from uh from the water what from the water tower works but the piping took more duct tape than expected and was leaking pretty bad we didn't have any more in the house so i tried to sneak over to the cop's house across the street he was walking with the construction crew in the neighborhood so i figured he might have some i was in ron's den where he'd been working on that nuka cola machine and must not have heard him over the distant gunfire and explosions there was just that cold barrel pushed up against the back of my head suddenly he told me to turn around slowly and oh god bonnie his face the radiation had hit him hard his hair was falling out and half his face looked melted i began if i begged him to stop but he put the gun in my mouth and crocked back the hammer my boy though i heard the gunshots but when i opened my eyes ron was falling to the ground and i spotted lance from down the street upon our roof he saw the whole thing and saved my life said he's got a plan and to meet him tomorrow night how freaking what the why neighbor right you know you know the guys you know you can trust them because there's already a bonding right you know but well, you can trust them more easily in times like this april 3rd 2078 happy birthday bonnie i don't know if you are still out there but it's uh it's your 13th so david and michael made you a cake it didn't really turn out but i let them open a can of frosting which was nice the aims uh and i have been busy the past few months lance and his brother had been on their way back from a vaccination to new york with their families when the bombs fell took them weeks to make it back here mostly on food they had a plan to build a wall around the neighborhood and after he saved my life i couldn't hardly say no to get the biggest part done in, uh, in a night we stole a couple trucks from the irish pride shipyard nearby i didn't ask how leon knew how to hotwire a truck lance had to pull them around to the edges of the yard to start the war truth be told i flipped the mine and damn near took out the house it was another month before we had the rest of the war ready but we are being well, but we have been keeping watch shifts since then and the kids all have enjoyed getting to come out uh outside. okay well beautiful let's get out of here i should do something about my reading man you know whenever i'm reading i should focus on reading and this not something else fallback point if things get too hot yeah 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 dude oh duct tape very nice and this is the what yep 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 oh irradiating his family slowly right but uh, you gotta drink boys you gotta drink judging from the amount of dust present it's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate this location in quite a while yeah or people just don't you know dude if there are people around does just get us more right you know what i mean he just didn't clean the lazy bastards so he did flip his truck huh Whoopa! which one which one which one not this one though hmm not sure which truck i don't see one that did uh, flip but i think it must be then over there okay the brothers of steel big boys right over there let's uh, get going big boys let's uh, get going Carson State Insane Asylum. Oh, that's up there. I thought it was here. Like, what? It's not here, right? No, we have been in here already. So no need to do it again. We have to drink something. Very yum, 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 yum. And we can level up, by the way. Now, ah, I kind of want to go for an insane little thing, right? You know, we can make ourselves tougher. But I still have to hear your guys' opinion if you are pro against it or just semi against it, right? You know, that we are using power armor. And if you're okay right now because we did prove ourselves right with power of uh, without power armor um we can also go with heavy guns you know because i have way too many points anyways you know we, we, we gotta keep spending them but we are just as deadly if not yeah i think we are more deadly without oh did you see that there was something here over there and there we are kind of more deadly right you know without uh the power armor because there's more silence and we are quicker and everything uh, then with power armor 
but we are more tankier with power armor and that's what i enjoy of course quite a bit why not why not after all we are going after a robotic engineer and there's some robotics inside of this power suit right because we have to have the um a semi-intelligent ai you know with the calculations of the movement and our own body movements you know it all has to be calculated in and then of course you know with the functions of metal and uh cogwheels pistons and all that stuff so it fits kind of in right you know another storm is coming interesting Lots of storms lately, though, I have to say. Mm. Yeah, we better wait until it's 100%. We could also go like this. Yep. We already took that one, sadly. And then I'm going to, you know, just so hop, 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 whenever, wherever. We're all baby together. La, 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 la. For some reason, whenever I say whatever or whenever, I think of Shakira. I have no idea why, though. It's because of her song, but further no idea even the rhythm pops in my head you know it's kind of awesome to actually fly like this you know from building top to building top it's really really cool i think that was uh dance it's just like this just tap it slightly and you're being fine it's really interesting really cool but so weird man to play like that Let's get rid of that alarm. After all, it's Raider Alarm. Alright, here we are. Just beautiful. Now, we have to be careful, right? Lots of sins and of courses. So, it's going to be rather interesting. Gotta, gotta be very careful, right? Very, very careful. A lot of other things also will happen, of course, you know. Uh, like advancing the main story and then we have to choose a side, you know. And all that stuff. It's going to be weird but interesting. Mm. Oh yeah, gunner, interesting. So the gunners are a well-trained big boys, right? They are originating from a fold, and they did rebel against the overseer and all that stuff, right? And got their own freedom. Okay. We could easily cheese our way through all of this though, right? Don't be rude, man. I was scratching my eyes. My eyeballs. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding, though. No. I was scratching my face. What we could do is go like this, right? You know? But Shall we do it? Oh, yeah. Well, well. We could. We could. We could. Okay, that one is down. Hmm... But I want to have more experience. There's some stuff that we could just hack easily, right? You know? No need for that. We What's have enough experience to begin with. with. And then we might actually miss out on some conversations that might be fun to listen to. Alright. Bye bye. The Very lovely. Second intruder, huh? It's so so interesting to hear all this stuff. There's a micro stutter going on. It's so weird. We only have that with Bethesda games, right? You know? And I'm not dissing on Bethesda, though, but you should have optimized it a little bit more for the PC, I I would say. Hunter's pipe pistol. Interesting. Lock and load. Lock and load, big dude. Lock and load. Alright. Bye-bye. Okay, we gotta be careful, right? Not to shoot too close, bar, uh, too close to him. Because we will just damage ourselves and especially your power armor. Very then it will be very difficult to walk around. Alright, now let's see. We can go over there. Easy hop, but no. Oh, legendary big boy. Okay, he lost his head, so I know that he's dead. Hoppa! Wounding Chinese officer sword. Interesting weapon. Okay, lost contact. Very bad for him, right? You know, I'm not too worried, though. I'm not too worried. But he might be very nervous, right? He doesn't know who is coming there, but he knows that there's one person 
in front of us is doing a lot of damage skipping a lot of his boys and of course then we are nice. taking care of the rest also very very curious uh, well very curious though that phenomena for the brotherhood, for the brotherhood indeed got a couple of dead boys here i mean Watch the course is mostly rushing through Who's there? through the enemies right you know hey. yeah hardcore rushing through it leaving so many behind but it shows how they are operating right it really shows that how they are operating and by just just going right fast to it you know hey lady very nice very nice down you go oh my lord though okay they are all too close man all way too close for our explosive rounds i think we should heal ourselves a little bit up there i mean sure let's go grab the nuka cola it's not a fim but it's okay though oh my god rocket launcher we were very happy uh, that we did not kiss that one okay Mm -hmm. there is a turret somewhere here oh okay not here uh, shooting at us though which is very cool but why do the why is there a cursor here huh all right i think he's not down no now he is Oh, the course is after the girl. Interesting, but why do they have a girl around here, you know? Why, oh, why, oh, why? I'm very curious. Is he related? Does he represent someone? Is it something we want to abuse, you know? Who knows? Who knows? There's lots of weird things around, man, you know? You know how people are. And because they are... Oh, so I say, you know, like um, this level of technology is a lost art that the Brotherhood's hoping to revive. Okay, very cool though, very cool, I suppose. Uh, but you know, what are they trying to gain? They are military orientated, though, so that means to me that they are trying to to get an edge over someone, you know. So we have to keep that in mind. Nice duct tape, some glass. Interesting how he's hiding there and still calls us an asshole. Come on, asshole! I'm around here, but I'm trying to be a little bit shy. You know? <laughs> oh, Paladin uh, Dance. How are you doing, big boy? You look kind of weird, though, all in red, you know? But um, it's all right. It's all right. It's nothing you can do about that. Okay, bye bye. They are blinding me. So there you go. Nothing around. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, interesting. Good ambush side. But also very weird to have a mini balcony like that over there. I don't know the password. I'm telling the truth. Oh my. I don't believe you. Oh God. Please, no. Oh. All he had to do was tell me. Are you going to you? Come here. Oh, very relaxing he's speaking, right? Are you yeah. here for the scent? My 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 my. Uh I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is Fuck You. If you're not here for the synth, then you're here for me. What do you want? What a narcissist, right? Why are you know why for him directly? We could have been here for the gunners. Who is this synth anyway? A fugitive. Runaway Institute property. I'm shutting her down and bringing her back. You, on the other hand, will die like the rest of them. I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. Alright. Cease fire, he says. Hello there, ma'am. <clears throat> he... He deserved to die. I know okay. you're not here for me, but... I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. 
Who are you? We'll talk once you open the door. I promise I won't run. The guard put the password in a toolbox. Over there, under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal. And open the door. Hmm. Of course, a chip. Of course, of course, of course. Here we go. Very nice. Stealth boy, course, a uniform. There we go. And here, are the boys in, the in town. Under the stairs. Uh, I'm not going to let her go, right? You know? I'm not letting her go because we have seen what happens with the synths, you know, and how they are brainwashing and infiltrating, you know, and then pulling the strings from behind. Because the whatever they do, it's always in favor of a synth. That is the problem. That is the corruption and the catastrophe behind it. If they were neutral and they do see a synth that is being normal and good, right, you know, to humans, other synths and animals and whatever, then um, it's normal. But if they just favor a synth because it's a synth, it's dangerous. All right. And security door control open the door there we are oh come on wrong buttons here yes there we go now what you want girl hey. thank you i don't know what to say ah uh, be careful though who you are welcoming who are you my institute designation is k198 but i prefer jenny so yes i'm a synth if you hadn't already guessed this is kind of weird I though they'd send a courser i just didn't think you'd find me so fast I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. And before you ask, no, I don't need any help. I'm a strong woman. I'm a strong woman. There we go. It was a joke, all right, you know, because she was programmed as a synth, right? You know, like a robotic uh, <laughs> little thing. Uh, I like synths. I like the idea of AI and everything. And she was kind of cute, though, right? You know, with the voice and everything. But, you know, <laughs> it was just a dumbass joke, all right? But the thing, though, is why i did this i just explained why but i am still conflicted heavily by it right you know i really really am i know that they are biological materials just like humans but they are not humans right you know it's a clear difference you know you know imagine this if there's an alien species uh, species right you know from um planets xyz uh, 99-12 i don't know man imagine that's a real one though um and they look 100% like humans. Are they humans then? No. They are freaking aliens, right? You know, and not like freaks, but they are aliens. You know? And that's not a bad thing. Since on their own, they are not a bad thing. You know? Right, Dance? They are not a bad thing, though. And I, I just did do that, right? To, to put a little bit of an empathy over it, you know? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, you know, they are not a bad thing in general. Look at that mini nuke, though. But it is what they are doing, which is very dangerous. What I cannot really support at this point. I really would like to have them around, you know, and stuff like that. And probably we will after this, right? You know, probably we will. Because on their own, they are not that dangerous. We only have to take care of the manufacturing, you know? And then it's okay. But... We do know that sins can go haywire. You know, lots of bad things can happen. Yeah, another problem though that I ha oh Certainly my. Wasn't expecting something like this. Yeah, we have not been there before. Little mosquitoes, right? No, red roads. Interesting. Okay, they are actually mutating. I was hoping that we didn't kill anything, uh, you know, human-like or friendly. But yeah, you know the fi another one right there nice but another thing though is about uh argument against the sins is rather simple though right it is because who is behind them you know and i'm talking about the institute you know like scientists of full tech apparently right over here um but 
yeah it is it is strange right it is a very difficult choice that we have to make because the railroad actually kills sins you know they do not take about the individuality of the sin because they might wipe it uh whenever they can you know and that is a, a huge disgrace if you ask me okay for some reason we cannot seem to hit that uh, but yeah, you know, that is that. The mind wipe them, killing off the real sin, and then giving it a different program, different identity. And then they are like, well, freedom awaits, big boy, big girl. The body is free. The body is nothing without the, the mind, you know, and without the personality. So the sin that they escape or want to escape, you know, is actually... Why can we not hit anything? Okay, well, whatever. It's actually being murdered by the railroads, and that's why it's bad. The Institute uses them for experiments, you know, and for some other things, which is also effed up, though, if you ask me. Uh, because then we have the bad sins and the spies, you know? So that is also a little bit of noopsie doopsie, right? You know? And then um, it is getting worse, of course, because some get a bad programming or experience something in life you want to have maybe revenge because human bad human treat me bad now i want to have revenge with my super uh, superhuman like body right you know so that is very bad so that's why i'm killing them mostly right and that's why with the weakness and the idiocy of um of the real roads you know we are going to probably take them out probably why not with Curie and why is that Curie true? Uh, because it is, there was a biological robotic type of body there, you know, not human, but a biological robotic entity. Bad mind wipe, no personality, no mind, nothing. So that part was damaged. Curie is a robotic that could be programmed into a biological body and that's why we have a robotic you know friends around but it's still a robot of course you know oh yeah <laughs> we have to go inside apparently again do we really why because we didn't take the real of uh no okay we don't have to that which is good which is very good um so yeah you know that is that so that is already something of our back it's something completely different you know it is a robotic and a robotic you know and we are not pretending it to be a human directly although she is very human like which is creepy in a certain way right but she's also cute and rather pretty for a robot and while we are a robotic engineer you know in a role playing as one um we are some type of nerd with some weird ass fetish up here uh you know properly right you know apparently i mean so you know that is that so that is my take on sins and everything if though the institute was gone the real world was gone and nobody has a certain kill switch right you know to mm, to turn a sin into a psychotic murder what did happen in diamond city right you know the, the event of the mask man I'm sure someone did just uh, send in a code like bloop, 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 and bam he went haywire and started killing people left and right you know so that is that if nothing like that happens because the original codes will be gone because of the railroad rides you know then I'm okay with it see where the difference is right now right you know the people behind them the controlling them humans are not that much different though right you know oh damn I did level up. Do we have what I really, really need, though, huh? <laughs> no. Ah, we have to go for this one one more time. Oh, that we will do in the next one, then, I suppose. Uh, right over here, nothing. I'm looking for that one radio place, you know? There's always a radio going off around here. And I want to find it right now, because now we have the bad backpack, right? Oh, here it is. Yeah. It's in here? Yeah. 
oh my god though that's funny though right you know okay that it's in there wow all right all right all righty then let's go to the detective cases and see what we have to do there and then we can do a whole lot of other stuff around but yeah boys and girls do let me always know right you know what your oh my god though i did not see him properly okay Woo. there we go but do let me know um what your take is on all the sins right and what i said and uh, do you agree with it do you see a flaw in it or anything of that sort right you know i'm always curious about your opinion oh yeah welcome to diamond city boys welcome to diamond city <laughs> it's so ugly though from this point right and so incredibly small that's what c said dudes and then you're going to tell but so incredibly deep oh my god you know yeah just right back at you you know <laughs> let's go let's go let's go oh whoa all right i'm not going to do anything because i will have collateral damage you know and i do not want to have that though no 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 really we really getting hunted down right by that one uh, guy that we did butcher the child from right you know because he was a wannabe gangster and the deal went wrong of course quite fun you know and everything it is it is what it is i suppose now let's see case earl sterling's disappearance client vadim bobrov really though another disappearing act to unravel earl sterling 25 year old bartender at the dugout inn one of the owners vadim bobrov noticed that earl hadn't been into work for a few days a security has called in no investigation of course the institute took him is there an official word about town uh, like always vadim came into my office half drunk with a sub story about how he and Earl went way back, and that he just can't believe that Earl uh, would get snatched up by the uh, by the boogeyman. My God, says he's right. Earl didn't have any enemies, at least none with motive enough to kill the guy. Not living with anyone either, so I'll have to see if Fadim or someone else at the dugout has his keys. I'd rather not have to explain to security why I was picking the lock on Earl's door if I slip up and get caught in the act. Yeah. The Earl Sterling case. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one seen him since. Alright. Very good, very good. Now, what about this one? Technical documents, always nice. I'd just leave that if I were you. Yeah, you. I think but I won't. Wise choice. There's also another case, right? What we want to study. This is the mystery stranger. Plus my cut rates, flare, blah 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 blah. He's fucking invincible over here! There's another girl inside of this place right now. Very bad. Alright, Paladin. No friendly fire, alright? Alright, now let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Disappearance act of you know, cool Earl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Workshops, blah, 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 blah. No, right over here. Alright, Miss Lanchless. Nothing either. Mm-hmm. Okay, good to know it's not in here automatically. Well, I will check it in editing. Let's also talk to Ellie Perkins right here. They're back. Yeah. How did everything go with the Nakano case? Oh, rather good though with your satanic eyes. I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north near Far Harbor. She's back home, safe and sound. That's great. We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. Don't you worry about it, darling. All right, you stay you, girl. You stay you. Uh, let's get out of here from this way because those two were blocking the road mayorly, though. But yeah, by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy and healthy. And don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.